start? Okay. Good. So at Netflix, personalization is usually important for us. And the reason is it's important for our members. We're a subscription business, and we want them to stick with us, and we want them to find something great. Since we have thousands and thousands of titles, we need to put the right thing in front of them to make movie and TV show fun easy. Now here's another twist on it. Imagine if you have one, more than one person in the household, which is typically the case in Netflix. In fact, let's lay out a scenario, a fictional scenario. Say if you had a husband, a wife, and two kids. Now imagine if the two kids or a girl happens to be, let's say, eight and a boy who's six. You know, by the way, that happens to be the exact configuration in my household. I'll make this example easy. How are you going to personalize if you have one account but you have all those people in the household? The first thing we do in that is we have a section just for kids. So in all our different UIs, we're building up a kid section. The UI is kid-friendly and the personalization is aimed just at the kids and all the content is just for kids. So we'll pay attention to what characters they like. If, say, the boy in that household is watching a lot of Johnny Test, we'll not only show him other episodes of Johnny Test, but we'll show him shows like it, like Phineas and Ferb. If the girl happens to be watching the Justin Bieber documentary, we'll show her that. And when we get the Katy Perry documentary, we'll show her that as well. And we'll show relevant things there. So the kids will have their own section. When you go to the main part of Netflix and the adults, if the husband and wife sometimes watch stuff together and sometimes separately, we want to personalize for both. But we don't want to, we want to make it super easy. So when you go to, whether it's the home page of the website or if you fire up your PS3, you're getting Netflix on your TV or your Samsung TV or one of the myriad of devices, you're going to see a whole bunch of rows on Netflix. And those rows will be a mixture to really cover the taste of a household. So you might get, based on what they've been playing and leveraging all the millions and millions of plays and the dozens of that particular household, we will pay attention and we'll see like, ah, they're watching romantic comedies. They're also watching indie violent action films. They're also watching, maybe what they're watching together, are TV dramas. So we'll show them a variety of things, but just in the variety of what they watch as a household. And we're also testing out other things that we're trying out later this year, we've been talking about. Will it be worth for people to literally sign in from the household with particularly their account, myself, my wife? So that's another way we might attack the problem. But the key here is the, we get around 8 billion hours of streaming every month. And so we know a tremendous amount about our users, and all that data is used to help find the right things for any user.